he actually Max actually got fired because he decided that uh, it'd be a good idea to have an actual his giant, notes were too detailed a giant party at the and I missed it. I was working with oh. a, the most severely mentally challenged client I've ever had in my life, and I had to go that night. And his wiener was my face later that night. And instead of being at the party, I had this giant erect wiener in my face. Did I ever tell you about that guy that I had to? I had to babysit, essentially. Yeah, this, this is Spend starting to edge in on the I cut off a guy's penis story. <laughs> like, oh, you never told us about that mentally retarded guy with his hard wiener in your face <laughs> all night, by the way, which you've said twice. <laughs> all night, hard. There was this wiener. very nice elderly couple who uh, they got my name because I was highly referred because I used to work for a, a place uh, with and They uh, wanted you to blow their retarded son? Oh, applied, my. Applied behavioral analysis. Uh, and I would, I would essentially – help mentally challenge adults who lived on their own independently assimilate even further into the real world with checking and shopping. This and guy sounds like a pretty safe guy to be assimilating. He, this guy was not, but he was independent. He was not part of the program. I got – I got. Uh, uh, anyways, they brought me uh, this elderly couple who had a lot of money to the point where they lived in like um, Los Feliz area, which is like kind of a nicer hipster area yeah, of I Los like Angeles. It. They had a house two blocks away. They had a house just for him, two-story, three-bedroom house. And my shift was I'd go over there like after work here, like 10, 1030 when I worked on another show. There's and always was, a note on their front door, gone shopping. I Be would back spend, later. The, spend the night at his house. He like was all by himself. He lived by himself in this house, but he always had to have supervision because he was not well in the head at all. Severe, severe autistic where he would do this with his chest all the time. He had like thick curly hair and he um, – since this was independent. And uh, it was just, you know, like uh, kind of like between friends almost. I, I can talk about this. I'm not giving names, but I'm not breaching and kind of. The way you said supervision was awesome. Yeah. Supervision. Because like I was he like, could I see wish really I well. had supervision. And supervision. So. He had supervision. I'm like. Oh, I got man, plenty of stories about lucky. this guy, but I'll just cut the, to the chase because we're, we're already a half hour past due. But I would spend the night there. Right. And um, this guy was very sexually frustrated. He was probably in his mid 20s. He was older than I was at the time. Probably by about three or four years. Very sexually frustrated. And uh, I would get him into bed. And I, this sounds wrong. But I would get make sure that he was showered and I'd get him into bed. So I thought that he was somewhat um, ready to go to sleep. He used sure. to, like, I'd drive him. Like, the first, his dad told me to take him to the zoo. when I, It was, like, our first date. Like, I was taking him out to kind of get to know the guy. L.A. Zoo? L.A. Zoo. We didn't make it. There's a bridge, you know, the bridge across the moat to get into the L.A. Zoo. You mean coming from the valley? I don't know. All I know is it was, like, a bridge and you got to go over a moat. The last time I was at the zoo was with this guy probably 15 years ago and uh, didn't make it halfway across the bridge because he started screaming and yelling at people. Huh. He's the driver! That's what he was, they, he was screaming that. And, and I was the driver. You, you could never tell him to calm down? No. No, no. Because he was <laughs> constantly be hitting himself, hitting himself, hitting himself, doing like this, unbuckling his buckle, buckling his buckle, unbuckling his buckle. Bad guy and to bring on a be, roller coaster. We'd be, no, he'd be fine because he'd be locked in. It'd be okay. We'd be driving down the street and he'd grab my wheel and just fucking yank it. And I was driving an old Ford Pro back at the time, and uh, so it, it, it zipped and zagged. And I said, hey, what do you do? You don't touch the driver, right? He's like, yeah, that's right. Don't touch the driver. Don't touch the driver. Like a really agitated, aggressive rain man, right? Um, so anyways, I put him to bed. Or I'd, I'd get him in, in bed. I can't even remember his name. I blocked it out. And I, Tyler, and I would go to sleep, and I would be literally like 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. I'd be fast asleep, and I would wake up. Two screaming, I need a girlfriend! I need a girlfriend! I need a girlfriend! I need a girlfriend! Like, I'm not kidding. Like, on a fucking loop like that. And I would the story wake is up. making me sad and it's making me, it's giving me anxiety the whole And thing. I know there's a giant penis coming at some And point. I would wake up and be <laughs> stark naked. And my head was, I was on the bed and I opened my eyes and it was literally right, right in front of my face. Right in front of my, just a giant male penis right in front of my face and him Whoa. screaming. I want a girlfriend, and I'm not exaggerating at all. At the top of his lungs, like to the point where a couple. You're like, times, this is how I die. A couple times it happened so fast that like something kicked in inside of me, something like animalistic, where I jumped up and then I had him up against the wall before I even knew. I was still like asleep, yeah. and I have him up against the wall, like almost in a headlock, and I'm like, holy shit, what's going on? I didn't even know where I was. I just I had that threat response. Did the erection go down? It was only erect a couple times. But then the Anderson part, gets hard because it's like that threat response. Uh, uh, next thing you know. <laughs> <laughs> but then the parents started trying to nickel and dime me, like, and they and they'd come in and. Uh, you don't nickel, nickel and time a guy that's got a hard penis in his face. And I was trying to explain you to just them just the how difficult the other way. their son was. Yeah. It was very sad. But one of the funniest, funny, it's, I, it, was, it was awful. And I actually Did got, he ever try masturbating or, or was he just? I tried to talk his parents into, and I don't know if I was right or wrong for doing so, but to take him out to a legal brothel yeah. and just have it finished. I think you're wrong. Because they what did. If he turns in, oh, really? They came back and they didn't want to talk about it. So I think it went very poorly because they, oh, yeah. they didn't let me know how it went at all. Mm. 
think it went really badly. But um, wow, that's got to be so hard for the parents. Fuck them. It was hard for me. <laughs> I know, but it's their. <laughs> I kid. felt really bad because they were older and they just didn't know what to do, and they had dealt with it for so many years. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure but, that visit to the brothel was like they're waiting in the lobby, and the dad's like, "I uh, have to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in like 15 minutes." I have no idea where he is. He's got to be in an institution now. It's really sad. A lot of those guys are just you know in institutions, but he shouldn't have been in a house by himself. Yeah. He should have been in some kind of program getting to that place. But he was like a spoiled only child, rich kid who had severe problems and parents who didn't really. Wow, but at least they didn't abandon him, you know. So I, I, I yeah, they them just for kept that. him in a cage house down the street. I don't want to take this to a gross place, but you could have been sexually assaulted. I wasn't. No, but I, I mean, if he would have like, was... started putting it on you or something, you know what I mean? That's I, I know that's not it's not like you got raped or anything, but it's that is kind of like an assault. I want a girlfriend at the top of his like mind. you can't touch people with your penis. I want a girlfriend. I want a girlfriend. I want. A... Oh my god, it was it, 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 yeah. so one of the funniest times. Was, I like, have every... fucking nightmares about this. I'd watch it for like 16 hour shifts, right? Very upset. I'd sleep there and then I'd be there like eight hours or four hours before, four hours. So it was long, long periods of time. And I would put him sometimes, I'd, I'd have him, he had so much energy. So we'd take really long walks and I'd run him sometimes. We'd run around. I'd run, run him. Run. Like <laughs> I know it sounds long, but like his dad would actually He's say, like you know, a race run, horse. Him, run him. So I even hired a jockey to ride him. I was taking like a, like a breather and he was out front pacing back and forth in his own front yard. And uh, I was I was taking a breather. I was like watching some Saturday television or whatever. And I, but I was you know the window was right Super there. Super friends. So I'd see him and he was pacing back and forth doing his thing. I used to. He would just. Like, I would get to the point. You know when you hang out with someone long enough and you start to do with it, kind of like you pick up some of their mannerisms. Like I was with this guy so much, I was getting some of his mannerisms, which was scary. Anyways, he's pacing back and forth, and I see this car pull up. This car pulls. <laughs> this car pulls. <laughs> They're like, take the leash off that human being. No, there's no leash I'm on him. him. He was sir. allowed to <laughs> out front. He was not leashed. <clears throat> His car pulls up with three Mexican guys in it. And the, the one guy in the front seat says, excuse me, do you know where? And he he beelines for the car. <laughs> beelines. <laughs> just search, I can't even remember exactly what it was. It was something like probably along the lines of like, I want a girlfriend. Him? I want a girlfriend. No, they just fucking they, – they, before I could even get out in the front yard, like I saw this through the window. I saw this happening. I'm like, oh, no. Why are they stopping? Why are they talking to him? And he's just – excuse me. Do you know where – I want a girlfriend. I want a girlfriend. Right. And they just fucking peeled did out he like look, I could hear the he tires. Like, vamanos, did he look like vamanos. Vamanos. mentally retarded? Did he look like that kind of guy? He looked like a guy <clears> – <throat> actually, I saw a server this weekend at um, this restaurant that I went to that totally reminded me of him because he looks – like there's a certain look. In the, you want to mention 70s? the restaurant to see if one of the listeners wants to swing by and bring it up? It's a seven, like the seventies in New York gang culture. You know what I mean? That look, Jewish seventies sort of, yeah. gang culture, like or or, or Saturday Night Fever, like yeah. a fro, and kind of like a long neck thing going. Yeah, and really skinny, like yeah. Eugene. Like his name would be Eugene, yeah. but it wasn't. He looked like that right. guy. He you know what I'm talking Eugene. about, Eugene? Like I think there was a guy in Greece that looked just like him. But anyways, that's what he looked like. And I feel for it. And I can't even remember his name. That's what's sad. But um, it's the closest I've ever been to getting raped. But it wasn't even close. But it felt like sexual assault. Like it I can sort of kind of understand assault. how threatening that would be if I was. Uh, so he had a big dong? It was quite, it was quite large. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, a lot bigger it, than me. That makes it better. A lot bigger. Does it really? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't want does. some guy sticking his tiny penis in my face. <laughs> God, that was a different world, a different life. It was. Oh, different. so any, you said, anyways, that was the night of the big party. What happened at the party? Oh so yeah. Got- so Max and I, I, I called in sick, and I called these parents. I'm like, oh, I got to really because I wanted to. It was gonna be the party of a lifetime. And I said, I had like, a headache. why don't you bring our son? He's like, uh, all right. I told them I had a really bad headache, and they said, uh, we really need you. So fucking puss, Pab Anderson. I'm like, all right, I'll be right there. So I didn't go to this goddamn party because I had to spend the night over at I want a girlfriend's house. It sounds familiar. <laughs> Uh, shut <laughs> he doesn't want to watch my dogs because he wants to go to some gay party where you get dressed up. Oh fuck you, whatever. So, uh, anyways, Mike Matt Max decided that it'd be he didn't really you know it'd be it's okay to lose your job because of, it was gonna be the party of a lifetime, and he invited like the entire city to come to the Jolly Roger. Did I just say the whole name? I shouldn't have said that. Anyways, they had a giant giant party, like just strippers on the roof, like, you know, uh, uh, water guns filled with champagne. One of those fucking parties, <laughs> blow everywhere. Everyone, uh, any room that was open was yours. I mean, just every free for all. Keys are right there. Fuck it, I don't care. I'm getting fired. Did but he know he was gonna be fired? Yeah, but he's he's Max. I mean, you have to meet him. To he, like he was gonna be fired ahead of time, or he knew that this would get him fired. He knew this would get him fired, but he wanted it. You know, 
Couldn't I just get a, 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 a write up? <laughs> Here's Max. Like, he would get a, every now and again, a company would be dumb enough to give him a credit card, like a $1,500 limit. Immediately just buy a one way ticket to Europe and he would just stay there until Europe kicked him out. That, he's on that like two or three yeah, I times. I wish I had that in me. I wish I, I wish I had the ability to do something like Max that. Max is the don't. best, but I can't have my That's wedding. Sweet. I had a friend who managed a hotel in San Diego and. It was it was evil incarnate, like the stuff they did in the like in the lobby with girls and like it was just basically a fucking orgy in there, all, like all the time, a drug filled orgy. Oh look, he just texted me, the fucker. Uh, dogs, here's what Janet did. Dogs, too many people. Shopping carts, filthy. <laughs> <laughs> girls, too much traffic. Too many people. Dogs, too many calls to pager. Traffic graffiti. Drugs hookers. Yeah. <laughs> Leaves girl with small child who runs wild. Hard to get out of room. That's this sounds all, like a description of, David. His, of his party. Oh, here's what Max writes. Uh, looks like I'm going to be stuck in Hollywood working late. But I want to come in tomorrow night for sure. Yeah, that's good, Max. I'm actually going to come the night <laughs> after my wedding, too, the fucker. My gums are bleeding. I talk too much. Sorry. All right. So, Sorry. everybody... <laughs> Send us your professor reviews. No, don't do that. Yes, send us your professor reviews. I want a girlfriend! I want a girlfriend! I want a girlfriend! I want a girlfriend! I don't know what the noise to make for my penis being in your face is, but... Imagine I'm making that noise right now. No, I'm not going to touch him with it. Not in my court! Not in my court. Tyler. So sophomoric. So sophomoric. Oh. 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 All right. Good night, everybody.